from question number 31 to 34 for the elevation given in the problem figure identify the correct 3d figure among the answer figure that means uh, they have given us some elevation and we need to find out which of this following 3d shape will have this elevation only one among this option will have this elevation so we need to find out so from 31 to 34 only these kind of questions will be there so first we will look into 31st question so now we'll uh, just look into the like the elevation may be uh, from whichever side okay so based on this we need to find out the elevation in this arrow direction so i'll start drawing for the first uh, uh, thing so from if we draw the if we see this uh, this surface will be visible as a plain rectangle and there will be a small a rectangle that is this one and there will be a smaller rectangle here and there will be a collectively big bigger rectangle so this is not matching so this is how we need to find out actually option one is clearly uh, seen that uh, it doesn't have this l kind of thing in the elevation here so it's a uh, it's wrong option so if we compare this uh, three we don't have to sketch all the three uh, we'll just look at the, some of the things and uh, try to find out okay so option three is wrong option because here you can see there is a deviation that is uh, this particular area will come like this there should be a line coming here because it has a flat surface here so but that is not there in the question so uh, three is also wrong so if we look for the if we look for the difference between three and two the difference is uh, the line here and there is no line here the plane surface but here in this question we can see there is a line here okay so that means one is wrong three is also wrong also four is wrong because we don't have a line here and two is the correct answer if we start sketching this elevation based on this arrow direction I'll show you so first there will be a square and there will be another square and there will be a L which is aligned to this so this is how it will be and this pedestrian shape at the bottom okay so it's matching with the question 2 is the right answer next question number 32 same we need to find out the which of the following 3d figure will have this elevation so this is also from the same direction Mm, option one is wrong because we have a line here but the, it's a plain figure here so one is wrong and two is also wrong because we have a L shape here but here we have only a rectangle okay so that's also wrong and four is also wrong because this rectangle is projected above the uh, other two squares but here all the three are aligned in the same level so four is also wrong three is the right answer if we sketch this elevation I'll show you so first there will be a square and there will be another square and there will be a taller rectangle and there will be this bottom pedestrian so option uh, 3 is the right answer question number 33 we need to find out uh, for which of the following 3d figure this elevation will be matching so based on this direction of the arrow so I'll try to filter out the option based on things which are clearly visible I think uh, option 1 is wrong because we have a deviation in level here in the bottom area but here it is straight line so 1 is wrong so here it is straight line but uh, here we have this is projected above this surface but here we have it is aligned okay, over here so if we draw this elevation I'll show you how it looks like this, this area this will be like this and there will be a small rectangle attached here and there will be a rectangle here and bottom there will be a pedestrian so this is how it will look like but here we have two rectangles not like this L shape so 2 is also wrong option and 3 is also wrong option because we have two surfaces that are e aligned on the top but here it's not aligned one is below the level so option 4 is the right answer so first this shape next this shape next this shape which will be smaller than the other two and 
bottom we have this shape so it's matching with the question so 4 is the right answer question number 34 same like before we need to find out which of the following 3d solid will match this elevation so here if we consider one is wrong because we have a small square here here it is not there it's plain here so one is wrong two might be the answer it's matching three is wrong because we don't have this small portion uh, here it's plain over here so three is also wrong and four is also wrong because we have steps like thing here but here we have L kind of thing so 2 is the right answer I'll start sketching this elevation first I'll start from this shape it's a tall rectangle here and uh, there is a T shape attached in the bottom to this also this shape will come till here and there will be small L here and square here so it's matching with the question so option 2 is the right answer Question number 35 to 37 is we need to find out the correct top view for the given 3D solid. First I will start with the question number 35. I will draw the sketch of this uh, top surface and later I will compare with the options. So first surface which I am going to take is this surface. So I will draw it like this. Next surface this one and this small square. This has to come till this line that means it has to get uh, ended here. So it will come like this and uh, this shape it has to come till here and this shape will also be visible from the top so it has to come till the edge and there is a hidden shape which is seen only very less so i'll complete like this so this is the top view of this solid so we'll compare this with the options option one is wrong because we don't have we have lines here and option two uh, option two i is right option three will compare here we have two columns so it's wrong and option four is also wrong here we have something so option two is exactly matching with our sketch so two is the right answer question number 36 i'll start from this shape for uh, finding the top view for this 3d solid it has to come like this and there is a small square which will be attached till here and also this shape also this shape also this shape so this will be the top view we will compare with the option option 1 is wrong option 2 is also wrong option 1 is wrong because we have a square here option 2 is wrong because we have line here and option 3 is matching with our sketch so it might be the right answer option 4 we have a line here so this is also wrong so if you see this is perfectly matching with this sketch so 3 is the right answer Question number 37, I'll start from this surface and next to this surface and next this surface and next this hidden surface and this surface. So this will be the top view, we'll compare this with the options. Option 1 is the right answer, if you see it's matching with the question. Uh, also, uh, we'll uh, see what all things are wrong in the other options just for uh, confirmation. So 2 is the wrong answer because we have a line here and 3 is also wrong answer because we have a line here and 4 is also wrong answer because we have line here. So option 1 is the right answer. Question number 38 to 31 is we need to find out which of the following is the art figure that is other three will have some relation but the one among these options will be odd one doesn't have any relation with the other things. So outer surface we see here we have four a number of polygons inside we have three polygons here we have five polygons and here we have four polygons here we have six polygons and here we have five polygons whereas if you take this one I think we have 7 in the outside and we have only 4 inside. So here you can see there is one number less inside. When it goes inside there is one side is reducing but here 7 to 4 it's very odd. These are all uh, I think these are all uh, in a sequence but uh, for this the art figure art figure out of them is 4 because it's uh, like this. Okay. Question number 39, the art figure among this four option is third option because other triangles are right angle triangle whereas this third one is a equilateral triangle. So third is a wrong answer. Also it's, it's the odd option. Also we can confirm with the other things. Any other uh, relation might they have. Okay, so see 
see i have checked it already but we do, i don't find anything so option 3 is the right answer question number 40 is the odd uh, option among the, this is here you can see top of the triangle is getting attached to one side of a outer square whereas here also same thing here also same thing but here if you see in the first option it is pointing towards the diagonal so this is the odd one among the four question number 41 is we need to find out which one of the following is the odd option among the four um, so basically wh what is the uh, relationship between the options which i find here is uh, for each option you can see there is two 90 degree lines in here here also you can find two 90 degree perpendicular lines in the but whereas in the second option you can see it's missing we don't have any not even a single 90 degree everything is a obtuse angle so option 2 is the odd option question number 42 is we need to find out uh, which one of this following option will uh, fit into this fourth question mark that is that is a uh, i think it is either rotating in the anti clockwise or clockwise and we need to find out which option will come here so we one among the four option here first we need to filter out the options uh, first observe uh, this is quite complex but uh, don't worry here you have to look at the first uh, like uh, the bigger pieces of triangles here so if you compare this you can find that there is a single strip here and there is a single strip with a small line over here so we can filter the uh, option based on this here the first option is a wrong option first option is the wrong option because this is fully empty whereas the second option we can keep it because we have it we have both the strip third also we have that fourth also we have that. so we cannot filter out uh, other three options based on the bigger triangle maybe we can look at this other two triangles bigger triangles so here we can find there is a two lines in the middle and a single line in the middle opposite to each other so that we can find we cannot find in the fourth option here we have a single strip and this is completely empty so option four is also wrong option then the answer has to be between two and three here if you compare these two option the difference is in the inner smaller circles triangles one among the following uh, one compartment is fully empty so if we check that for that in the question everything is actually having some lines here only so there is no possibility that a single triangle becoming empty so third option is also wrong option option two is the right answer question number 43 is we need to find out which of the following four option will complete the sequence okay so here we will we'll try to filter out the wrong options i'll take this thing into consideration thus this line and this line are quite parallel to each other so here it is you can see it's taking anti-clockwise direction slightly it's rotating so if you compare that and we will try to filter this third option if you see it's not actually parallel this m like shape so third is the wrong option so if we see the other difference here i can clearly see that uh, this thing there is a flat uh, thing flat chamfering thing here which is missing in the other two and fourth option so if we check for that if you check in the right side or left side both the sides we have this chamfered line okay so here also we have a chamfered line both left and then right side so here in this second option if you take we don't have any chamfers in the top but we have it in here in the left side but we don't have so signed is the wrong option also in the fourth option we have it here but we don't find it here so fourth is also the wrong option whereas in the first option we can see this chamfer in the both side so this will be the correct answer option one is the right answer question number 44 is we need to find out which of the following four option will complete this sequence which is given here so here we can see it's this shape is rotating in the clockwise direction so uh, first I'll, I'll filter the wrong options option one is the wrong answer because we have like foot like uh, shape here but it's missing uh, here completely very odd so one is the wrong answer so other three looks might look similar but you can definitely find difference here you can see this there is no sharp uh, edge inside cutting inside here in this question we can see there are sharp edges here so which is not there in the fourth so four is also wrong if you compare this two and three the difference is this side that this is very small and if you take this we have two similar length lines opposite to each other so here 
in this also we can find like if these lines are parallel and also they are equal in length so option 3 is the right answer we cannot get something like small we don't find it here so signed option is the wrong option question number 45 is we need to find out which of the following four option will complete this sequence so here in the 45 you can see here uh, this shape is rotating in the anti-clockwise direction in 45 degree okay 45 degree okay so the here you can see this line it's projecting the uh, this angle and later it is turning into the top uh, angle and now it will be in the diamond shape so here all the options are in the diamond shape now we need to find out like these four parallel lines here these are going to be in this direction definitely because it's taking 45 degree uh, clockwise direction sorry anti-clockwise direction it's okay if we filter based on that two and three are wrong because in the top compartment we don't find the these straight four lines okay so for one and four if you see the difference is here below this they are perpendicular to each other but here you can see they are actually continuous parallel lines so this you can find it here so one is the right answer four is the wrong answer question number 46 is we need to find out which of the following four option will complete the sequence so first here we look at this three shape you can see that this triangle here this is taking opposite direction turning that is anti-clockwise anti-clockwise not 45 degree less than 45 degrees okay so here definitely when it is rotating like half the 45 degree you can call it like that so here if it is in this angle then the next shape will be of uh, horizontal again see you can see it here if we draw a line diagonal and it is changing like this in between 290 degree uh, it is it so next has to be like this okay so it's rotating in the 45 degree so if we see that the second option is wrong because it is diagonal we need to have a square which is uh, lying straight okay and also then uh, we'll now we look into the inside shape here you can see these lines are continuous they are not uh, intersecting here we can make it without taking our hands off but here you can see there is a in between triangle which is which has a dead end it's not go, uh, going in the flow so three is also wrong also here you have this cross this is also wrong so option one is the right answer question number 47 is this shape is rotating in 45 degree you can see so this is pointing towards here so next would be it should be of this 45 degree whereas this uh, cutting portion will fa be facing this direction so one is a wrong answer one is a wrong answer now we need to compare with the other three four is also wrong because this uh, this segment is very less and if we able to look the difference between two and three the difference is actually this question is wrong because uh, both two and three are of same shape there is no difference so the answer is both two and three are right so here you can see there is no difference between two and three so both are right answer from question number 48 to 53 uh, which one of the answer figure shows the correct view of the 3d problem figure after the problem figure is opened up so this is like uh, this is the actual 3d form this is like a open the structure of the 3d form we need to find out which of the following open structure will match for this 3d uh, solid so this uh, first of all we can do this uh, like uh, you can do this directly by sketching this or you can filter out the option based on certain judgments i will tell you how to do this uh, first of all what i will do is i will count the number of sides here okay so here you can see the solid is actually opened up in this uh, uh, act, uh, this is fixer and this particular surface is opened up in this direction like this also in the back side there is a surface which will also be opened okay so now we need to count the number if we count the number of sides here we can just count it and see whether it is matching with the options okay so i'll start from here i'll take other color one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve this is the center portion including center we have 12 sides here so if we start from here one two 
थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व सो वी हैव ट्वेल्व हियर बट विल चेक द अदर थिंग्स वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन इलेवन सो वी हैव इलेवन ओनली हियर सो दिस इज अ रॉन्ग ऑप्शन वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व थर्टीन सो वी हैव थर्टीन हियर सो दिस इज ऑल्सो रॉन्ग ऑप्शन वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन इलेवन सो वी हैव इलेवन इलेवन ओनली सो आवर आवर वर्क बिकम वेरी ईजी बिकॉज वी हैव फाउंड द आंसर दैट इज ऑप्शन वन इज द राइट आंसर ओनली बाई काउंटिंग द नंबर ऑफ साइट्स इन द रेडी सॉलिड सो if we if we have 12 in the both uh, options i'll tell you in the next of coming questions i'll tell you how to solve that also so for this option one is the right answer question number 49 is also same that we need to find out which of the following open structure will match for this 3d solid so first we'll uh, see this is the fixed position and the object is being opened up like this here it is like this so now we need to count the number of sides in the uh, here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 so totally we have 10 number of sides here we will count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 we have only 9 here so this is wrong option 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so we have 10 here we'll see whether other options also has 10 or more or equal to this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so we have two options in common both having 10 sides we'll also check whether this one 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so we have two options in common both having 10 sides we'll also check whether this one 1 2 So this has eleven. So this is a wrong option. The answer has to be either two or three. Okay. So between two and three, if we have to find out the difference, we need to start sketching this. Okay. So I'll start from the back side surface. So this is the fixed surface. So here, if we start. the center portion will be here you can draw it somewhat proportionate not to very much like you can draw it you have to draw it somewhat proportionate so if you take take this side this is getting attached to the center portion that means it is half the size so here we can uh, draw it like this the a square which is half the size of the previous one the below one is also half the size here this is the center uh, portion here okay so we can filter some option based on this i guess because we, uh, this is the center area uh, either on either side of the center we have equal uh, length rectangles so if we check for that here so that also uh, it seems very similar okay so we will continue with the other things like this one now this one is half the size of previous one so it has to come like this and there are three Uh, surfaces here which are of equal uh, size small strips of 3 okay so we will check whether this uh, uh, this is matching or not so if we see here we have only two strips here whereas we need to get three strips 1 2 3 and then a bigger thing so this is a wrong option because we have only two over here so here it is perfectly matching we don't have to complete the entire structure Uh, we can filter the option based on this okay so option 2 is the right answer question number 50 is we need to find out which of the following opened structures will match for this 3d solid so first i'll start counting the shapes before that you need to find out where how this solid is opened up so this is the fixed end and the solid is being opened like this okay so here it is opened like this so this is the fixed side here okay so uh, let's start count okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so we have 10 sides here okay we'll count here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so we have 8 here 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट एट वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन सो आवर वर्क बिकम वेरी इजी ऑल दिस थ्री वन टू थ्री हैव ओनली एट साइड्स वेर एज द फोर्थ ऑप्शन हैज टेन साइड्स सो दिस इज द राइट आंसर इफ यू आर गेटिंग टेन ऑन फॉर टू ऑप्शन देन लाइक द प्रीवियस प्रॉब्लम आई शोड यू हाउ टू सॉल्व दैट ओके सो दिज आर द ट्रिक्स फॉर दिस काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन question number 51 is we need to find out which of the following open structures will match this 3d solid so here first i'll take this point this is the fixed point from which the shape has been opened up okay so back side also it is open like this okay so this is the center portion which is kept fixed and the other uh, other planes are opened like this Okay, this is how the solid is being opened. So okay, so now we'll count the number of sides and try to filter out the wrong option. First, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we have twelve number of sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we have eleven wrong. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we have twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So this is also wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So this is also wrong. So in this problem, we are getting it, getting the answer very easy just by counting the number of sides. but uh, if you see there will be three option that are getting same number of side that time you need to solve it by sketching manually so i'm um, option 2 is the right answer for this question question number 52 is uh, we need to find out which of the following open structures will match this 3d solid so first this is the point in which the object is kept fixed fixed and the object is being opened up like this so back side also it's like this on this i'm drawing this hidden side this is the side which is kept fixed and the objects are opened up like this okay now we'll start counting the number of sides and try to filter the wrong options 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so we have eight number of sides 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so we have eight here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 9 we have nine here so wrong 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 so this is also wrong 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 9 9 9 9 so we we are getting eight sides for both 1 and 4 so we now we have to uh, find it by uh, drawing the sketch okay so the answer has to be between either 1 or 4 we'll check it okay so first all this is the point in which the object is kept fixed fixed so that that will be of this this proportionate and later if you take this side it is somewhat double triple the size okay on the bottom portion it is even bigger than the previous one okay so this is also common here so we continue do the sketch so this thing it is equal to this one so i'll draw a rectangle which is proportionate like the previous one and this one this is half the size of the previous one so it has to continue like this and this is the a area it is being opened up okay so we will try to compare this now and uh, we'll try to solve this so here you can see uh 1 2 3 the third option is very small here but it's not possible uh but here we can see that the options are quite matching with our sketch okay so option 1 is the wrong option and 4 is the right option Question number fifty-three is: We need to find out which of these open structures will be matching for this three D solid. So here, uh, this point is fixed. That that means here, this point is the fixed point, and the solid is being opened like this. 
like a butterfly wing it is open like this and the solid is being opened extended like this the other sides are being extended like this okay so now uh, we'll just count the number of sides and we'll try to filter the wrong options so starting from here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so we have eight sides here so here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 we have 9 wrong 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so we have 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so we have two nines here uh, nines are wrong if we get eight only we have to start sketching 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so our work become very easy so option 2 is the right answer because the number of sites are matching with the uh, actual given 3d solid question number 54 is we have been given with the top view of a solid composition and we need to find out which of the following option elevations will match for this top view okay so here we can uh, filter the wrong option based on certain criteria i will tell you what all those uh, here if you see there is a sharp edge pointing towards here that means uh, there should be a sharp line in the center okay which is missing in the one first option so it's wrong you can find that sharp line in the uh, other options but we will also try to filter the other options uh, okay so base if you see we can see a plane surface that means it should be a pedestrian it should be a cuboid pedestrian it should be like this so if we look that from the front side we will not uh, have any like sloping surfaces here if we have that sloping surface that means we will be having a line in the edge okay so that's missing here that means I'll erase this so option one is wrong also here you can see there is a slope which is getting attached that means here we should have the lines but it's missing so option four is also a wrong option also if you take the third option we can same here it should look like this like a chamfered cue ball so it should look like this, this portion if we look that from the top view it should be like a two square sheen aligned and it should uh, have lines like this so uh, option three is a wrong option because we have this uh, chamfering here so four three one are wrong two is the right answer for this question i'll also show you how the 3d solid will actually look like so this solid looks like this from the top view you can see uh, this is how it looks like this is the one that is given for us in the question paper okay so they are asking which of the following elevation will match so this is how it will look like in the front elevation which you can find it in the second option it's perfectly matching right so this is how the solid actually looks like so option two is the right answer question number 55 is we need to find out uh, which of the elevation will match for this uh, plan figure which is given so this is a 3d solid actually they have given the plan view top view for this and we need to find out which elevation will correctly match for this so based on this uh, i'll show you like here we have a plane surface in the bottom that means there should be a gap here so but in the fourth option we don't have a gap in the second row so that's a wrong option also here in now in the left side we have a plane figure that means we should have a gap in the left right alternate so here in the third option we have like in the third row we don't have a gap okay so for the one and two we have the alternate one gap here and one gap here so here next comes this one this is alternate now the next side should have a gap so here it is so option one is the right answer we have alternate gaps going on but here in the third second option one two but third it's missing again fourth it's coming so two is also wrong on, on answer i'll show you how the 3d solid actually looks like so this is how the solid actually looks like so if we look that from the top view this is how it looks like it is it uh, matches with the question paper if you check with this uh, also we need to uh, find out the front side so front side this is how it looks like so here it is matching perfectly with the 
option one so option one is the right answer question number 56 is we need to find out which of the elevation will match for this 3d solid so they didn't give the actual 3d solid they have given the top view of the 3d solid and we need to find out uh, which uh, elevation will match for this okay so um, so i think uh, the first option is the wrong option because we have this slanting surfaces here which we can't find it here we are plain surfaces here the three sides so also in the second option also we have a sloping points which is not uh, which will not come so third and fourth has to be uh, a, any one of that should be the answer but in the second row you can see like i'll erase it in the second row uh, in the f first row second row we have a clear surface clear plane surface whereas here here we have a line here which will not come if it has to be like this, it has to be either a, either plus like shape, 3D shape. So if the solid is like this, then if you see that from the front, you will have this line. But we have only a full square, so it, it will not have any such lines. Okay, so option four is also wrong option so third is the right answer so this is how the solid actually looks like in the question they have given the top view for this solid that is this is how it looks like in the top view so we'll compare this with the question paper so you can see the 56th question uh, this is how it looks like okay so in the as a 3d solid it looks like this and the question is we need to find out the front elevation the front elevation actually looks like this uh, which is matching with the third option here you can see it's matching with the third option so option 3 is the right answer question number 57 is we need to find out which of the elevation given will be matching for this plan view of a 3d solid so they haven't given the 3d solid view they have given a plan view of the solid and we need to find out the correct elevation for this okay so so this will be quite confusing but uh, if you have a clear knowledge about the isometric you can definitely crack the answer for this mm, i'll show you how so option three is a wrong option reason we have this slanting here if we have a slanting like this that means the surface is not perpendicular so it should be a sloped surface solid just like this okay only then if you see this from the top view you will be able to see this slanting line okay but uh, here we have a slanting line which means the surface has to be slow but uh, here in the third option if you see it is in 90 degree so third option is a wrong option also in the fourth option if you see fourth option we have this uh, solid here so it's a uh, wrong option also the answer has to be either one or two so the difference here is we have a straight line forming here on the slope in the thing okay so option two is the wrong option because we have only one side we have a slope other side it has to be a, a solid one so in the first row itself they have two slopes here which is wrong so option one is the right answer so this 3d solid actually looks like this so we have been given with the plan view so that is the top view of this so if we look at this from the top view th so this is how it looks like if you can compare this with the question paper this is how it looks like so what we should find out is we need to find out the front elevation that is this view so this is how it looks like in the front elevation so if we compare this we can see that the first option is actually matching with the uh, 3d view okay so option one is the right answer question number 58 is we need to find out the correct mirror image for this given a uh, given uh, you can call anything given drawing or composition line composition so this is a very simple problem you can easily find out uh, option four is the wrong answer because uh, if you are having this cross here in this compartment then it has to come on the right side so here you can see that is not there here it's single line here so it's wrong also we can compare the other thing so here if you have this line then the 
in the mirror image it has to come on the right side so second option is also wrong because we have it in the left side same as like the given uh, image so if we the answer has to be between um, either sorry uh, this is not a wrong uh, it shows like it is a wrong answer okay so the answer has to be between either one and one or three the difference between one and three is yeah the number of lines here so here we have i think we have five lines inside but here we have only four here only we have five okay so one is the wrong answer and three is the right answer so it's a correct mirror image for this question option three question number 59 we need to find out the correct mirror image for the given image you can filter some of the options here uh, option one is the wrong option because this is not even a square here we have like this is very narrow also this is in horizontal whereas this one is in vertical so this is a wrong app a wrong option um, okay so yeah this is also wrong option uh, i'll draw the sketch okay so in the sign draw alone if you see uh, first this has to come and the next it has to come like this one so if it is not matching in any of this that those are wrong answer one and uh, three if you see it's not matching with this one Okay, also in the fourth option also we are not able to find this like here we have the vertical next we have the horizontal so option two is the right answer I haven't compared any other stuff whereas with only the second row you can find the answer for this question second is the correct answer question number 60 is we need to find out the correct mirror image for this picture so here I can see that is a uh, these two lines are aligned in a straight line to each other whereas in the second option you can see it's not it's like not in the straight line so two is a wrong answer so if we compare the other three options, this one looks more elongated whereas here it looks chamfered so whereas here it is elongated more than the actual top one so option one is also wrong answer now we if we compare three and four the difference is this portion here it is more uh, sharp whereas here it's less sharp so here you can see it's more sharp actually okay so option 3 is also wrong answer option 4 is the right answer question number 61 we need to find out the correct mirror image based on this axis for this given image so this one I'll, I'll just draw the vertical lines and uh, try to find out the answer so first the line has to be very close in, in the first row and it has to be slightly larger and it has to go very large and again it has to go very small so it has to follow this one so option one is wrong because it looks like they are equal whereas two can be the answer also three can be the answer and four four cannot be the answer the reason this is quite larger this first row is quite larger compared to the question so answer has to be between two and three we will find the difference the bottom row it is uh, somewhat not in the equal length so uh, the here you can see it's actually matching with the third option so two is the wrong answer where we have very less uh, height so three is the right answer for this question 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 number 62 is we need to find out the correct elevation based on this arrow here so we can filter some of the options here I think option 1 might be the right answer also we will check the other things option 2 is also somewhat I feels like it's right ok let's check the third option third option is the wrong option reason we have intersecting line here which does not happen <coughs> also fourth is also a wrong option because we have the middle line here so it, uh, it, sh it should be like the other previous two because you can see here all the three are of same length in the same view so fourth is also wrong option now if we compare the difference between one and two I think one is the wrong answer reason here we have this one attached here okay if it is attached here we will not find line here it has to be uh, open it has to be uh, empty like this okay if it is detached only it should have line like this so option 2 is more relevant to the given question so 2 is the right answer question number 63 is we need to find out the correct elevation for the given uh, 3d composition on a plane surface 
Um, so first one is the wrong option because you can see that this is the one which is in the front not this one but in the four, first one we have this first solid in the front so the hence it's wrong also uh, sign is also wrong option because you can see the this sign two solids are like attached to each other but here you can see they are uh, they are actually not attached this first one is hiding this one so two is wrong answer so it has to come like this it has to hide hide, hide like this and three is also wrong answer because it's forming some line over here which cannot be possible so four is the right answer for this question question number 64 uh, so we need to find out the elevation for the given 3d composition on a surface mm, here you can see like uh, first might be the answer we'll keep it in a hold and the two is not the answer because here it is like some cuboid not like a pentagon this cannot form like this also three is the wrong option because some lines are forming here and something is happening you couldn't understand this also fourth one is a wrong option because you can see that the backside solid is feels to be the last solid but here you can see the first one is in the very far away from the viewer whereas this one is in the front it is very close to the viewer's point of view so one is the correct answer which is matching exactly with the given uh, plan okay one is the right answer question number 65 is we need to find out the correct elevation for the given uh, uh, 3d composition on a plane surface uh, we have to find the elevation based on this arrow how it looks like from if you see from this arrow direction okay so one is the wrong option because this circle is in front and this is in the back side but here the the last one feels like to be on the front so it's wrong answer two can two might be an answer but three is not the answer reason we have something is going on here so this cannot happen okay like this one is in the back side and this is so this is wrong this area is wrong over here also four or two has to be the answer we should find the difference between two and four so the difference is this one is friend this one this this area is the difference this first two is the difference also this bigger one is the difference so you can see the fourth one is wrong option because this is too big here it is of same from this itself we can say that second option is the right option although this was also wrong so two is the right answer question number 66 is which out, which out of the following is the country called roof of the world japan tibet mongolia uzbekistan so what is called as roof of the world so if you do google research you can see that the tibetan plateau is known as roof of the world the roof of the world in the top of the world in the metamorphic description of high region of the world so it, it is considered to be in the tallest place compared to the other countries land area so tibet is called as the roof of the world answer is option two question number 67 is which of the following has a better insulation value a concrete wall a brick wall a cavity wall a stone wall so the answer for this question is a cavity wall i'll show you how the cavity wall looks like uh, insulation means something uh, breaking the connection like it may be a heat insulation or sound in insulation heat insulation means if uh, if a uh, material is blocking the heat then it is called a heat insulation if it's blocking the sound from entering one side of the wall to the other side then it is called sound insulation okay so if you compare the plain wall and the cavity wall since we have a, a air gap between two walls it is very it is difficult for the energy to transfer from one side of the wall to other side of the wall also you can also put some in, in some more insulation material inside the cavity which will be added uh, insulation for the member okay membrane okay so insulation walls are more insulate creates more insulation compared to any other option that is insulation walls the cavity walls are more insulation than the concrete brick and stone walls question number 68 is which one of the following is a renewable source of energy coal natural gas ocean waves oil you can say ocean waves we have a lot and it is renewable because every one minute there will be new ocean wave will be coming it's also an energy form of energy whereas coal it takes a lot of time to 
reproduce okay once it is used it uh, it takes millions of years to get it back so coal natural gas oil or non renewable resources whereas ocean may use a renewable res resource question number 69 is charles korea was which of the following a british architect indian architect american architect or a brazilian architect so charles korea is one of the famous and uh, forefather for architectural community in india he is one of the role model for many of the top, many of the top architects today so he is a indian architect charles korea was an indian architect so you cannot uh, judge by the name means charles he is a christian uh, he is a christian that's why his name is charles korea he is a indian so the answer for this question is option 2 indian architect question number 70 is who among the following is not a qualified architect remo fernandes arundhati rai satish gujral bv doshi uh, you should also read about all the three other options for this question satish gujral is the correct answer satish gujral is a indian painter sculptor here in this wikipedia page you can see painter sculptor mural and uh, writing so it's not mentioned that uh, he is an architect anyway so also if you look at his education he did in maya school of arts in lagur also he studied in jj school of arts in 1947 so he haven't completed the bachelor degrees for architecture so he is a indian painter so answer for this question is option 3 ellora group of temple represent which of the following question number 71 hindu religion buddhist religion jain or all the above so we'll look at the religion here you can see ellora temple comprises of all the three hindu buddhist and jain temples and more than 100 caves and 34 are open for the public whereas others are only uh, prohibited not for the public so it comprises of all the three religion hindu buddhist and jainism so option 4 is the right answer question number 72 is pathanan is located in which country romania russia greece japan so pathanan is this place this is best example for uh, uh, golden ratio so this is located in temple of athens greece so the answer for this question is option 3 greece question number 73 is which of the following is equal to nobel prize for architecture in india academy award padma shri pritzker prize under star of architecture pritzker prize is the answer this is the official website of pritzker here they have mentioned all the architects who have won this award based on the year among them bb doshi is the uh, indian person who got this award so far and also this prize looks like this so with some cash award they give this medal every year for a single artic architect for their best uh, contribution for the field of architecture so option 3 is the answer question number 74 is an escalator looks like which one of the following ladder staircase ramp lift as you all know if you ever went to any shopping complex or mall you would have seen this so this is like moving staircase the look of this escalator looks like a staircase so the answer for this question is option 2 staircase question number 75 is who among the following is an architect vikram sheth lawry baker kushwan singh raskin ban so lawry baker is a architect from uh, uh, england he got settled in uh, kerala and uh, he he practiced sustainable architecture as uh, he is the who invented uh, ratra band that is a cavity wall so this is lawry baker he is a famous architect he is from uh, uk got settled in tiruvananthapuram uh, so uh, answer for this question is lawry baker option 2 Question number 76 is Burj Khalifa is located in which one of the following country Saudi Arabia Dubai Turkey Afghanistan so Dubai is the answer so this is the world's tallest building the height is less than 170 kilo uh, meters for a kilometer so still we haven't uh, reached the landmark of 1 kilometer height building tower so this is located in Dubai so this is the tallest building and the height of this tower is you can see like 828 meters which is 
72 meters le less than a kilometer. So the answer for this question would be to buy option two. So the most, uh, which of the following is the most striking feature of Sydney Opera House? Question number 77. So entrance hall, interior design, shell shaped roof, location. As you all know, Sydney Opera House is located in Australia, Sydney. So this is how the exterior of the building looks like. So as when you look at this building, the first thing that comes to your mind is the roof, which is like a boat, like sail shaped roof. It's a cell structure, concrete building covered with a shell shaped roof. So the most striking feature of the Sydney Opera House is the sail shaped roof option three. Question number 78 is which one of the following is a art combination forts Jaipur lakes Udaipur temples Madurai rain and Kutch. So you can see for Rajasthan fort is very famous for and Udaipur is known as city of lakes. So it's also matching Madurai is famous for it's known as temple of city. So it has a lot of temples. So temples and Madurai also match but rain in Kutch. Kutch is a place in Gujarat where you might have seen this in some movies. It's like a desert. Okay, made of white sand due to some chemical combination. The sand actually looks like uh, white. Okay, so this is that place where you will not. Uh, it, it's just like a desert. You can find it. The rain is not a uh, main. Uh, it cannot be the option. Rain that doesn't come to cut because it's a desert. Okay, so option four is the wrong combination among the four. Question number 79 is tsunami is the result of which of the following? Sea storms, earthquake in coastal areas, earthquake in the seabed, strong ocean waves. So tsunami is the large waves that is uh, that is a natural calamity, which happens when there is a earthquake under the seabed, under sea earthquake. This causes the tsunami. The large waves that are form this will be forming when there is a earthquake uh, happens in the uh, under the sea. So the answer for this question is. Option three. Question number eight is Chandigarh was planned by which of the all, uh, following architect? American, French, German, Australian. So this is a very important question. Reason here they have been tasked for the name of the actual architect. Even though if you have known the name of the architect, there are chances that you might not know uh, in which country he belongs to. Okay. So we all know Chandigarh city was designed by Charles Correa. Sorry, uh, Le Corbusier. He is a French architect. I'll show you. So this is Le Corbusier. As you can see, he's a Swedish French architect. These are the some of the famous works of Le Corbusier and uh, Chandigarh city is entirely designed by Le Corbusier. The answer for this question is option two, French.